Hello everyone, my name is Saad Ali. I'm here with Ayan and Jackson on 99.5. This is NFL Talks. We're going to be talking about the offseason. First, we have um, the Patriots acquiring Mike Kosicki and Juju Smith-Schuster. What do you think this means for the Patriots, Ayan? This could really help the receiver core. It could get Mac Jones a few weapons that could really help him out and have him and let him have a better season than he's had in previous years. All right, now Jackson, we have the acquisition of C.J. Garner Johnson. The Lions picked him up for really cheap. How do you think this is going to help their defense? Well, it's definitely going to help him because he had the most picks last year in the NFL. So it's definitely going to help them get more, or they get a better defense and try to rebuild their whole team. How do you think about C.J. Garner Johnson? He's pretty young, and the Lions in general are pretty young. Do you think they could have acquired a veteran to support them, to support their younger players? No, I don't think so. All right, that's great. And now, Ion, we have, um, sorry, one more for Jackson. We have the acquisition of Jalen Ramsey, a blockbuster trade to the Miami Dolphins. How do you think this is maybe going to push them into a playoff spot and win the AFC East? Well, they got them for cheap, so that will help them keep their salary cap low. So then they'll definitely have a much better defense than they did before, so that which would help them guard the rest of their division and help them get to the playoffs. Now, one for you, Ion. Uh, we have the your favorite team, the New York Giants, acquiring Darren Waller. What do you think this means for them? Can they possibly make a push for the NFC East title? Well, since Odell Beckham Jr., the Giants really have never had that real number one receiver type. And this uh, acquisition could really help Daniel Jones to have a reliable target to throw to for the, throughout the season as long as he doesn't get injured like he has been. All right. Now we have Caller. Yeah, so I want to talk about a team that's all, that has had a very interesting offseason. That's the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, they lost a lot. Look, there's no two ways around that. But I think they did some big things in the trap. They bring in DeAndre Swift as well, who could be that number one back after Miles Sanders left. It felt like they they brought in the right pieces to replace their players. What do you guys think of their offseason? Uh, yeah, I think they had a pretty good offseason. Obviously, they lost a lot. But I think they replaced them with um, players who are similar in skill set, which is which kind of fits their uh, – they picked good team players for their system that will help them succeed and make a Super Bowl run this year. I think that they're going to come out of the NFC as the NFC champs and face either the Bengals and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. What do you think about this? Uh, I definitely think they're Super Bowl contenders, and they'll probably get back there this season. As Giants fans, are you scared – as a Giants fan, are you scared of the Eagles based on their offseason? Heavily, because the Eagles are – were an incredibly talented team – last season and uh they've they've kept a lot of talent and even gained some talent so i'm very scared of them all right now we have another caller Yeah, so I think the offensive coordinator from the Chiefs, I think that's going to be a big pickup. They still have a really weird quarterback situation where they have a veteran who was on quite possibly his last two or three years, I think, and a rookie who has very little competitive experience as he played for North Carolina, which isn't a great football program in itself. I think they've had a weird offseason. I really do like their defensive additions of cornerbacks because their defensive line and linebackers have always been really good, but their secondary has always been lacking. All right, we have one more call. I don't. Th I think they finished second, right behind the Eagles, by a game or two. I do think they definitely make the playoffs, and I believe they can make a great run. But you know how the Cowboys are in the playoffs; it it never goes well for them. Jackson, do you care to comment? Uh, no, I don't care to comment about that. All right, how about you, Ion? Uh, I don't think the Cowboys can beat out the Eagles this season. I think if they have, I think they will have a good season, finishing second in the NFC East and making the playoffs. I just don't think they can push for that uh, Super Bowl run. All right, thank you. This has been NFL Talks on 99 Live. Have a good day.